Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. This is Mary Lou Areño, and I hope you're watching my series on how to apply for a job in the United States. And congratulations to those who are successful applicants and receive a job offer from employers in the U.S. So in today's episode, I am going to share some tips on your departure and arrival to the United States. Are you ready? Let's begin. So first is some tips for the departure before you leave your home country. So tip number one, you need to check the necessary documents. Of course, your visa, your DS, your transcripts, your passport, and everything that you need in working for the United States, including for your uh, documents that you need for your certification. And then if you are married and you have children, don't forget to bring your marriage certificate and your children's birth certificate because you will be needing them if you decided to file for the J2 visa. So make sure those necessary documents comes handy when you need them. So tip number one, check the necessary documents before you leave your home. Tip number two, you need to travel light and dress appropriately. What do I mean by travel light? I know we have some um, like minimum baggage requirement when we travel, but I would recommend that you don't need to meet those uh, like the amount of load or uh, number of pounds that you need to fill in your baggage. Because when you arrive in the US, it is so easy to get whatever you need. So just bring some uh, clothing that you need for work and a pair of shoes for your work and some comfortable shoes. So anything that is uh, like basic and necessary don't bring everything because it is easy to get what you need in the United States. Like, for example, you don't need shampoo. You don't need all those uh, hygiene kits. They are quite heavy and it will sometimes uh, added to your load. So just travel light and dress appropriately. What do I mean by that? You need to be comfortable and check the weather of the airport or the country that you are going to. Let's say if it is quite warm in the night in, in your home country, and then you are expecting a cold weather when you get to the US, you need to layer, okay? So uh, wear thin clothes when you depart, but make sure you have something to layer to keep you warm when you reach the country that has a colder weather, okay? So travel light and dress appropriately. And what is Another thing that is so important in traveling light, especially if you are alone, because sometimes when you reach your entry point in the U.S. and you have some connecting flights, they will ask you to pull your luggage, like uh, to pick up your luggage and you're carrying them and to, uh, you know, bring them again to the counter. What if you have a long wait time and you need to go to the restroom from time to time and you have a lot of baggages with you? So that is very uncomfortable. So travel light is the key word. Make sure you are comfortable and you can handle them by yourselves, okay? So tip number three, study your itinerary and make arrangements for airport pick. So you need to know what airport are you going. And uh, sometimes in, in one airport, there's several uh, you know, places. Is it uh, airport number one, two, three, four, five? And you need to communicate that to your employer. Are they uh, making arrangement to pick you up at the airport? You need to demand for that, especially for J-1 visa. That is uh, one of the arrangement that they need to provide, okay? They need to pick you up from the airport and um, you need to tell them your itinerary to make sure you, they will not get lost or you will not get confusion upon your uh, arrival in the airport, okay? 
steadier itinerary and make airport pickup arrangement. Tip number four, check for housing. So before you even fly or depart, you need to make sure that your employer made arrangement for your housing accommodation. You should uh, get assurance that when you arrive, you have a place to stay. You have a home and uh, check also what our appliances are available and uh, things that you need like bed and everything. So, because that is their responsibility to arrange for your arrival. Check for housing accommodation to make sure when you arrive, you have a place to stay. Now, what are you going to do as soon as you arrive in the United States? So in the airport, they, you know, they check your visa, they check your passport, they stamp and everything, they ask for uh, other documents. Make sure for tip number one to check that all your travel documents are complete before you even leave the counter. You don't want uh, losing any document that are very important, okay? So check your travel documents and secure them. Tip number two, secure necessary documents for payroll. So let's say you are already settled in your home and they asked you to report for work or at least visit the school. One thing that you need to do first is to get your social security number, okay? That is very important because you will not be uh, entered in their payroll system without your social security. And another thing that is important also is uh, you can open a bank account because most schools are uh, paying their salaries through direct deposit. So, you should have those two, your social security number so that you can be legal in the payroll or you get paid and also open a bank account for your direct deposit. So that is the necessary documents for your uh, setting up for your payroll. Tip number three, request for contract and policy handbook. So let's say you already arrived and meet uh, with your uh, supervisors and uh, visited your school and they are not offering you the, the contract, you can ask for it so you can review, okay? Because the one that you receive when you are in your home country is just a job offer. And then they will give you your contract upon arrival. And of course you need to uh, request for a copy of the policy handbook. Because usually in the policy handbook, that's where you read everything, the rules and regulations, um, you know, anything, the protocol, the procedures. So you have to request for your contract and the policy handbook and start orienting yourself with the policies and procedure. And usually schools, they are very good in providing orientation, especially for new teachers that includes uh, your career orientation, what to do, the curriculum and all, as well as cultural orientation. So request for those. And I hope you will be successful with your new found job. So if you have any questions while you are in the United States, you can email me at the teacher's best friend channel and uh, I will make sure to answer your questions. And I wish you luck. And for those that are still in the process of interview, don't give up. Keep trying and uh, reach out for your dream, okay? And uh, I hope you learned something from the tips for your departure and arrival in the United States. So that's it. If you have questions, don't, don't forget to write them on the comment down below. And uh, you can also suggest some topics that I can uh, present next time. So good luck and to God be the glory. Thank you for watching.